Destiny 2 Finite Impactor Weapon Review. Anyway, this is a 140 round per minute hand cannon from the good old Iron Banner. Well, the last Iron Banner of Season 3 to be correct. And I'd say this hand cannon is pretty cool. I got this one straight off of good old Lord Saladin. And let's say it's pretty cool. I like it. It does great sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. The thing is, I'm kind of more used to the 120 round per minute hand cannons or the regular IS Luna type hand cannons, which are either faster or slower than this one. So this one's kind of in the awkward middle. So it still has the basic regular recoil pattern as just about any other hand cannon where the gun actually kicks upward instead of going backwards like a scout rifle. No, this one... Is the type that actually moves when you fire it and can mess with your aim. Which is a little bit hard to control. It's not the best on stability. But there's that's why you have mods on your weapons and whatnot. In you can, uh, weapons and armor and whatnot. Like, I'm not even sure, but maybe you might be able to help it out with the lucky pants. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this is the adapted frame type hand cannon, 140 rounds per minute, I already mentioned that. A decent amount of impact, uh, pretty good range for for uh, this type of hand cannon. Uh, stability is not the best attribute, but you can smooth it over with some perks and what, or mods or whatever. Then you have handling, which, well, I got this weapon masterwork recently, so it has a little bit extra handling. Even though the base handling is still pretty cool. And then you have the reload speed. In this gameplay, I'm using drop mag, so it's a lot higher. If you use the appended mag, which gives you two extra rounds, but decreases the reload speed back to standard, which is pretty decent, but I like drop mag. And with drop mag, it makes it all the way to just 10 rounds in each magazine, which is okay. You don't really need all that much ammunition in a hand cannon. Like, um... The max, uh, like the biggest hand cannon magazine I've seen is in the Crimson hand cannon, which is a three round burst hand cannon. Anyway, the sights this thing have is, is the fast draw uh, HCS, which gives you less range, uh, less stability, I mean, more stability and more handling, which is pretty cool. I will probably might be using this a little bit more. Especially since I got the master work, I might re-roll it to make it on range instead of handling. But, then there's the Sure Shot uh, HCS, which is one of which I played with in this footage in the background, which gives it more range, less stability, less handling. So, like we all know, range is like the one thing you really need to focus on the hand cannons, or at least that's the way it was in D1. Now I think it's handling, stability, and range, but those can change and and whatnot for each type of hand cannon because of uh, the actual rhythm of the shots, like with the whole bloom thing. Like the faster you fire, the more bloom you're going to get. So if you pace your shots correctly in a steady rhythm for each hand cannon, you will be able to get pretty... Uh, pretty awesome kills with this thing and I'd say it it still takes four shots to the head to kill somebody so still waiting for that uh, good old change over in the uh, next week but anyway other than that it's an energy weapon so you can slap on whatever elements you, you want to which might change sooner or later in the next patch and other than that, it's an all-around great hand cannon, and, well, it's a nice iron banner weapon. And since those uh, weapons are going away in the Forsaken, might as well grab it. You might want it.